he's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? So after my little bit of brainstorming paid off at the end of episode 10, we're finally going to the Herbology class. I've been waiting for this. Okay, so after Herbology, we only have the two tasks and Voldemort left, so no other lessons or other bullshit in the meantime. Guess I'll play as Harry again. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I bet we'll encounter all kinds of shit in the greenhouses, and I might want Ron's extra jinxing power for that. Neville sent us a note. It says, Try looking in the Herbology greenhouses for guinea pig. It'll help you breathe underwater for an hour. Wonder how long this is going to take. Okay, so for once I noticed the yellow text. I figure this spell book will either teach me how to climb the vines or walk on water. I don't know. Oh good, right off the bat there's a Triwizard Shield. Since I found it about 15 seconds after starting the level, I'm going to assume that there's some reason I can't reach it. Ouch. Well, if the Boobo Tuber doesn't grow, then I guess that would be said reason. Even though the characters keep yelling whenever they touch the base of an ungrown Boobo Tuber, it's at least not deducting any health points. Well, I guess I'll worry about it later. Hey, you're one to talk. Do you know how much trouble I went through to get you and Harry to stop walking into shit in the Forbidden Forest? I guess these large pots don't break. Oops, oh, that's a rock. <laughs> uh, nope, that didn't break the pots open either. Oh, how stupid am I, though? This gate should be able to be opened. Okay, come on. Good. No, don't close it again! What's wrong with you? Stop it, stop it, stop. Okay, uh, should I open it further or just not bother? a bit of a tight space between the gate and the prickly plant. God damn it, what did I just tell you, Hermione? Fine, lock Harry out for all I care. I can't believe you're still doing it. Oh, there's the book at least. The Herbivicus spell. Excellent. Herbivicus. Okay then. Now what? Okay, a mini shield. A few pumpkin pasties. Also, I was right. Ten mini shields do get you a Triwizard Shield. Then why the fuck didn't that work near the end of the previous episode? Oh, well, speaking of Triwizard Shields... Oh, how do I get that? I look like an idiot just running around up here, but I'm pressing the spell button on my controller, nothing's happening. And just because the little cutscene with the spell book played out doesn't mean I know how to use the spell, it only means the characters are able to cast it now. That doesn't tell the player what he or she should be looking for or aiming at. You know, that might help, I don't know. I feel like it might involve these, but only because it's a slightly darker green compared to the rest of the plant. Kind of like how in old cartoons there was a difference visually between the backgrounds and anything with an outline that would eventually move around, you know? Like the pink book Velma's holding versus the yellow book on the table. The outline of the pink one is much thicker and darker than the yellow, so I'm just going to assume the darker buds on the vine will eventually do something, assuming I can ever reach them. If we cast Herbivicus on it, we could make it bigger. Make what bigger? These other buds? Oh, but will you stop that? Alright, so that's yet another way to get beans. Guys. Guys. Guys! Why the fuck are Harry and Hermione still messing with that gate? What in the fuck do they hope to accomplish here? You knock it off already! And I don't think throwing jinxes at the spiky plants do anything to them either. They just sit there and obstruct your path like a bunch of assholes. 
Mary's still going. The fuck? Or it's Hermione. I'm sorry. I mean, okay. Now that I know for sure it's to grow things out of buds, uh, that still doesn't help me reach anything here. Cause I still can't climb a damn vine. Ugh. Okay. So, yeah, that's another problem I'll have to solve. Grow flower bud? Why? What's that going to do for me? Okay, well, I'll get some more beans. Will anything else be accomplished, though? Do I even need more beans? Like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to buy any more cards again at this point in the game. You have... Over a thousand at this point, Ron. One more bean shouldn't be anything special. Yeah, I don't feel like I need beans, but I guess I'm just gonna keep doing this. Are you serious, Harry? Fuck off. You're somehow being less useful than Hermione right now, and she's standing around doing absolutely nothing. Well, you opened the gate all the way. Are you proud of yourself? If you wanted it open that badly, you could have helped initially when I tried to open it the first time. Oh, a dragon. Got it. Oh, there's a chocolate frog, too. Uh... And... We gotta move some rocks out of the way. Presumably, this is the only way forward through the level, I guess. Alright, after this is the vine we have to climb. Let's see what the spell can really do. I swear I feel slightly congested still. Ooh, very nice. Why do you state these things after I've done them? It would be much more useful if you shared your knowledge earlier, you know? Yeah, really. I know I've said this before, but I really do like the music in this game, even if nearly everything else pisses me off. Excuse me? Well, if there is, you better hope it's not teething. I'm about to find something, aren't I? Aw, oh, it's cute though, right? Careful. Those things have very long stings. Oh, well in that case, fuck them. Unless they're responsible for pollinating various plants and flowers and thus help keep the food chain for us humans going strong. In which case, please be more considerate. Damn, look at that lily pad though. Nice, so the Herb and Phineas spell is a two-in-one, meaning it both helps in climbing the vines and walking across the water. Oh, how fucking stupid am I? I just realized that the tiny ball of light that appears over rocks and folded up lily pads and everything else is what tells you where you're facing and therefore what you're aiming at. Shit, that would have been, uh, helpful if I'd realized that sooner. The aiming system still sucks shit when launching boobo tubers, though. Were any of those beans bouncing off the surface of the water, too? I'll need to pay more attention next time. I bet they were. God, when I'm being attacked, it feels so much slower casting Herbivicus. And I complained before how you couldn't shoot any spells upwards, and it's still the case that you can't aim upwards, per se, but it, at least the game auto-aims your jinxes up towards these obese mosquitoes for once. And so far, Harry and Hermione are doing a decent job at keeping them off my back. Although I picked Ron for the sake of utilizing his extra jinxing power, but instead I've got him occupied with unfolding lily pads instead, while Harry and Hermione tackle the bugs with their average firepower. So that didn't work out quite the way I had intended, but... Yeah, see, look at that. Their aiming is nearly completely above their heads now. I knew they could do it. They put their minds to it. God damn it. So they dropped the ball there. And... Yeah, the beans do in fact bounce on the surface of the water as if it was solid ground. That's interesting. I'll take care of this real quick. Okay, I got half of it. 
Yeah, I know to catapult booba tubers to destroy the mushrooms now, for God's sake. Okay, somebody's got to keep an eye on our backsides at all times. Seriously. This is ridiculous. Alright, they're called mosps. Why would I want to attract them, though? How about some bug repellent instead? Carpe retract them the bug? Shut up, Hermione. I knew this shit. I figured it out in the first episode, didn't I? It's gonna blow up. Ooh. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to open it up and then run away while they're occupied with it. Okay. On the other hand, I could also attack them while they're occupied with a flower or keep working on opening the mass of petals on the vine. I don't know. Why does that flower have to close so quickly? Is it allergic to sunlight? That shit was about to sting me even though I was working on opening up something that it seems to enjoy. Yeah, I guess I'll go this way now. God, I hate fighting these things. So annoying. Harry, how about watching my back and keeping an eye out for the bumble butts instead of watching me cast Herbivicus over and over again? What are you doing? Quit standing around staring into space. See, now they're surrounding me. They kind of deserved it, perhaps. Stupid asshole. Oh shit, I didn't know a mini shield was off screen like that. Was I expected to guess where objects that are practically invisible to me are going to be located? How much other shit have I missed because of this? Goddamn camera. Harry got stung, didn't they? What's it? What are you talking about? I'm not even paying attention to half the dialogue now. And the music keeps rapidly switching back and forth between some pleasant ambient background music with a higher tempo piece every time these mosps reappear. <coughs> Damn it. I just hit a shovel off screen by accident because I hit the wrong button on my controller. I didn't even know we were supposed to be keeping an eye out for things like that. Although I guess it's my fault. I could have paused the game and checked the list of objectives for the greenhouse like all the other mini shields and stuff. I'm just using this to check and see what else might be off screen. God damn it. You be careful. Okay, there's probably nothing else out there. Oh yeah, I have to go all the way around to get to the staircase and continue on. What the fuck is this? They don't stay open? And I have to regrow them all again with the mosps buzzing around here? Son of a bitch. Fucking annoying game. That, that is poor shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, what? What happened? Oh, okay, Bubo tubers can kill mosps. Well, that's an interesting thing to know, but good luck hitting a mosp with a Bubo tubers targeting system while it's moving around rapidly in midair. Yeah, remember how I told you to keep watch and not stand around staring into space, Harry? That's why. Protect yourself, too. I guess this is going to lead me somewhere else. Oh, right, duh. I need this to access the next lily pad to get the fuck out of this infested airspace. Finally. Uh, didn't I open these up earlier, too? For fuck's sake. Oh, goddammit. I wouldn't have wasted my time on these if I had known they would, they would close again later. Jeez. And these stupid assholes flying around me won't fuck off. If they're upset that I'm in here in the first place, then just let me leave. God damn it, go away. I still can't see what I'm aiming at without taking a few steps forward, but for all I know, that would be suicide if I walked right into the mosque. I hate this camera so much. Now hopefully it's just a straightforward path I have to run down to get the hell out of here as quickly as possible. Oh, of course it isn't. I have to deal with more of this shit. Well, 
Well, at least no one bothered me that time. Oh good, another blast ended Scroot, and another mini shield. I even saw that shovel, honestly. Great fuck boy, get ready to take it up the ass. Idiot, you can't even steer while running, can you? Okay, I really need to get behind it, though. Here comes the wand. What the fuck? There's another one? Ugh, oh, and, oh, of course, everything just caught on fire all of a sudden. Ah, oh, shit, it's ejaculating lava everywhere. God damn it, twice in five seconds? What a beast. Cool, a mini shield. Oh, Harry just died. Idiot. Well, I'm pretty close to dying myself. Yeah, I'll just let them deal with it. Cool steps. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, of course there'd be an invisible wall there. I don't mind if the game prevents you from leaving early before you finish the battle, but at least have a gate or something there. Yeah, shit, it's trying to climb up the steps too. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, have they seriously not been able to smack it on the butt without my help? Come on. I guess blasting our own white stuff up its ass isn't practical when it's in the middle of having explosive diarrhea. And it fucking died again, too. Great. Come on. I think I'm... I think that levitating rock went through its armor for a second. Oh good, here we go. Finally! Jeez. Yeah, that's a lot of beans. Harry and Hermione are going to need to heal. But I bet we'll run into more shit before getting the gillyweed, so they'll probably die at least one more time each. Is that a salamander fire pit? I guess it never ignited, thank god. No, I meant to start putting out the other fire, not picking up the rock for fuck's sake. And I knocked down part of the side of that building over there. Now, one of you two should get that pumpkin instead of me. I've got full health already. Hermione should probably get it since she's even weaker than Harry at the moment. If neither of you two are going to claim it, then at least walk between me and the item so I can use Accio to get it to you. Ah, damn it. Fucked up. Uh, is there any reason to continue staying down here? Yeah, where does this go? Well, it won't let me carpe retract him on it. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. That, that gate was for holding back the second blast and did screw it. It doesn't lead anywhere. And I know I walked past the Triwizard Shield, but I don't want to grab it and reset the level. I gotta go for the Gillyweed first. Then come back, if necessary, to get more shit. Oh, God damn it! leave me alone. Can't these things just fuck off and stay inside one greenhouse? Preferably without any doors or any other openings in the glass. You two are just gonna stand around and do nothing. Oh, God. God damn it! fuck off. Well, shit, that didn't even help me get inside. At least that time I was injured enough to justify using it instead of trying to force feed the other two to take their medicine. Are you buzzing shitlords, fuck off already! Jesus Christ, leave me alone! This is ridiculous. How many of these things exist? When I realized that I'm uploading this episode two weeks later, total non sequitur at the moment, than I normally would have, but I just get burned out sometimes and need a break. All this script writing just kills me sometimes. Maybe I should just do improv from now on, I don't know, for a series at least. One-off videos could still be scripted, I guess. Oh, man, I've still got to deal with unfolding these plants while there's shit buzzing around trying to kill me. Oh, okay, that went surprisingly well. And there's like only one or two people watching these videos in the first few days after I uploaded anyway, so... 
I doubt anyone cared if I stopped for a week or two, but yeah. Wait, I hear a cauldron bubbling. Aha, I remember now. This is how I destroy the large statues. Boom! Get fucked. Well, I meant to cast out the cauldron, but did so prematurely because it hadn't reappeared yet. But yeah, I might as well open the gate too. And just for good measure, in case one of them tries to close it again, I'll open the gate up even further. Okay, a third statue I need to blow up. Ah, fuck. I'm stung again. Harry, quit trying to close the gate! First of all, I don't think Hermione's bothered to walk through it yet, and secondly, that gate is not going to prevent the mosps from flying over it anyways. Are you still trying to close that gate? Okay, uh, it's Hermione making the carpet attract a noise this time. God damn it. Should be smarter than that. Okay, I guess there's nothing there the hidden tucked away in that corner. Just have to cast Jinxes blindly to be sure the camera's not hiding anything behind a wall. It's ridiculous that I even have to do that or think about doing that. Ooh, a bean. Get the beans. And Hermione will go back and forth between telling Ron to stop going on about beans in an annoying fashion and then saying, get the beans, as if we don't already know to do that. Like, talk about hypocritical, or at least inconsistent. How about just a silent agreement to get the beans without verbally orgasming with excitement every time we see a few spill out of a busted object? I forget what to do with the brownish-orange boobo tubers. They don't respond to Carpe Retractum like the green ones do. Okay, I can just walk behind them. Of course. Yeah. Well, if I can jinx the dragon statue from a distance, why would I ever need to destroy those mushrooms? I'm not even sure how I could do that anyways with using those autumn-colored boobo tubers. Hmm. Uh, weird. There's a wall of collision detection at a 45 degree angle in this corner of the stone wall. I don't know why, but... So I guess that's it for this little area. I'll just go inside then. I'm sure whatever's in there will be horrific. Well, that's nice. Just disorient me at first before I can see much of the inside. I couldn't even see where it landed. This greenhouse is a jungle. Yes, Professor Sprout certainly likes that. Well, the mosps sure as hell aren't plants. Why does she have to have them flying around in here? Okay, well, at least crossing that gap in the stairs wasn't too painful. Do I have to do more of these things? Shit, multiple instances of bridging the gap. Uh, that went okay, too. Maybe the mosps will fuck off. Oh, never mind. I think I've seen a flash of light inside of here at least twice now. I'm not sure what else that would be other than lightning. I guess we found shelter in here from a thunderstorm just in time. Although I'd rather be out in the lightning and thunder than around these mosps. Fuck. Alright. Uh, I still haven't opened either one of these two leaves yet. Come on. Damn it! Even if I get the leaf or lily pad or whatever 99% of the way open, it will still close itself if a mosp interrupts me and breaks my concentration. Finally! Although the other two are about to die. Harry and Hermione, that is. Uh, jeez. Okay, that leaf opens. Hurry! Yeah, too late. Hermione got all of her health drained. Harry, I wouldn't walk up the stairs so casually with that tiny amount of health. What the fuck is this? A larger version of a mosp, like a mini-boss or something? Fuck off, you obese bumblebees! I can't remember a more annoying enemy I've ever had to deal with yet in any of the Harry Potter games so far. Ooh, that gives me an idea, though. It, yeah, I better use Magicus Extremos here. Uh, which, well, that's also a good idea. That wasn't what I had just thought of. But I could do a series of short top 10 videos, just the top 10 most annoying enemies in Harry Potter, or something like that. I'd have to finish playing through the rest of them to end up with the Deathly Hollows Part 2, at least for the PC, but the PC games only make up roughly a third of all Harry Potter games, I think, at least if we're only counting the number of ones that aren't the same across platforms. 
But yeah, so far at least the mobs would be number one on a hypothetical list of top ten most annoying enemies. And the in-game camera here would get an honorable mention, even though it's not an enemy. It's just so bad it hinders you as if it were an in-game enemy. Just... Ugh. Must have said it a hundred times, I hate the camera so much. And I'm so glad I thought to use Magic as Extremos, by the way. Otherwise, I would have probably had to keep fighting the mosps all the rest of the way up here. And yeah, there's the shield that I want to grab because I need the gillyweed first. Oh, Harry spotted it? Nice. Where is it? Oh, Jesus Christ. So the gillyweed is in the massive chandelier and I have to knock it down? How does this make any sense? Why can't they just use Accio? Or are they assuming that it's protected with an anti-Accio charm? No, and then he just slumps over and dies. And I used magic as extremo so recently that I'm nowhere near being able to use it again. Yeah, that might be an interesting fact, but I don't think now's the time, Hermione. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I have to go back down now. Is the camera? Okay, good. Oh man, I st I'm still gonna be fighting these shits all the way down the staircase. Are you serious? Oh, haven't I suffered enough already? And even if these Urklings are a little different, they don't seem too much more difficult than regular Urklings. Maybe they take a few more jinxes before being defeated, but it's not an overwhelming change. Yeah, I'm just gonna try running past them. So far, it seems to let me do that without consequence. First of all, are you sure Gillyweed doesn't burn? The whole stockpile might be gone now. And secondly, why the hell did this catch fire? It was just a chandelier smashing into the ground, right? I was worried for a second that maybe I would regret outrunning Harry and Hermione down here if these fires needed more than one person to put out, but so far it seems to let a single individual extinguish each batch of flames without any trouble. Yeah, it's gotta be storming outside. I don't know why else the game would flash like this. Yeah, this is easy. I'm surprised the game just let me run past the Earthlings like that, and they didn't even chase after me. Well, good on Harry and Hermione for keeping them busy. What the fuck? You had the ability to help and you just now shot a jet of water down here? No, oh, whatever. How do I get the gillyweed without touching the shield? Hakio doesn't do anything. I might just chance it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Touching the shield gets me the gillyweed anyways. But if the entire game thus far has always reset the level upon touching a shield, then you can understand why I'd be hesitant to touch it at all. And finally, the second task would be next. Although I'll probably need, like, one or two shields before I can do that, I bet. Maybe three. Ten. Ten? 